Okay, so here's the second storm that's rolled in about 45 minutes after the first. Some good lightning. In 2014, I made a short video about the monsoon storms that we experience in Arizona. But it occurred to me I never actually explained what the monsoon is, what it's all about, and why is it so important. The Sonoran Desert is an ecologically diverse area that has a wealth of native animal, insect, and plant species. It's an arid region that's about 260,000 square kilometers, covering northern Mexico, Baja California, California, and Arizona. Every year in the Sonoran Desert, there's a phenomenon known as the monsoon, and it brings moist air and eventually precipitation, giving the desert almost half its annual rainfall in two to three short months. That's 10 to 20 centimeters of rain, usually between the months of July and September. And in the desert, that's a life-changing amount. Monsoons are not unique to North America. They occur all over the world, in places like West Africa, East Asia, and India. And they're important sources of precipitation that ecosystems depend upon. Now, technically speaking, a monsoon is defined as a seasonal reversal of wind patterns, changing atmospheric circulation, and precipitation of a specific region. But how does a monsoon form? A monsoon begins because land heats up faster than water during the summertime. In the Northern Hemisphere, that's June, July, and August. Water has a higher specific heat capacity than land due to its physical properties. You probably already know this if you've been to the beach on a hot summer day. The sand is burning hot while the water stays nice and cool. We can observe this difference of heating by looking at satellite data. This animation shows how the temperature on land is greater than that of the oceans throughout the year. The rapid heating of land during the summer causes air on the surface to warm and rise by convection forming clouds. As the summer progresses, a conveyor belt-like system begins where cool air from the surrounding regions moves in to replace the warm rising air from the surface and a summertime low-pressure system forms over the surface of the Sonoran Desert. This process is so strong that it changes the direction of the prevailing winds of the region. During the winter months, the winds come from the west, but during the summer months, the winds come from the south and the southeast. And these summertime prevailing winds bring moisture from the Sea of Cortez, Baja California, Sierra Madre Occidental, and the Gulf of Mexico. Large clouds begin to form over the desert. This happens in the afternoon once the daytime temperatures near their peak. And as the clouds grow, they can form cumulonimbus incus or anvil head clouds. Some reach up to 12,000 meters and can even be seen from space. These clouds can form into thunderstorms with the potential for intense rain and lightning. Monsoon storms are different from wintertime storms because of the way they form, the prevailing winds, where the moisture comes from, and the hotter temperatures associated with them. During the monsoon, it's common to see things like lightning, high-intensity rainfall, intense winds, and even hail. One of the side effects of the monsoon is flooding. This can happen when the volume and intensity of rain is greater than the infiltration rate of the desert soil. Also, increases in urbanization and decreases in the amount of bare soil make it so water can't be absorbed as quickly. Large flash floods can pose a danger not only to wildlife and the ecosystem, but also to citizens living in the region. The Sonoran Desert is a unique and exceptional place that depends on summertime monsoon rain. This rainfall lets many plants and animals survive the hot desert summer. The monsoon has also influenced the culture, history, and lifestyles of the people living in and around the desert, and it continues to be a source of amazement and interest for all of the Sonoran Desert. In this video, we learned what the monsoon is, how the wind patterns and convection change, how thunderstorms form, and about flash flooding. Thanks as always for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe to see more.
this close.